sandbox experiment. So I built a little reservoir. Um, there's a dam right there. There's an outflow channel. It's kind of like a river. There's a little bit of water in there already. I filled the reservoir with water, but so now I changed the sandbox into mixed AR VR mode. So on the display here, I don't have a VR headset here right now, but on the display here we have a manipulable view of the same terrain that I built in the sandbox over there. Only that this one is on the computer, so you can you know rotate it around as much as you want. You can zoom in or out, of course. So what I want to do now is I want to see what the dam failure in this dam looks like from a poor observer who is standing who's standing in that output channel down there. So I'm going to load a uh, view that I made where I'm placing myself at one-to-one -one scale uh, down in that little valley. Okay, so they were looking straight up to that river up at the dam. All right, and so now I'm going to essentially take out the dam here and see what happens and then try to see it on the display over there. So here we go, dam fails. And oh, there comes the water. Oh my goodness. And I'm underwater. So this is what it looks like in the sandbox. And here is what it looks like in the, so to speak, VR view. So I'm already standing there. I already drowned. Um, but let me zoom out a little bit and look at this from sort of up top. Here we go. So here now we are looking from the, from the dam down. We see the water rushing out. We see some standing waves here, which look very strange, but yeah, that's actually what it kind of would look like. Uh, pretty cool. And then, yes, the sandbox is set up that the water flows out on that edge of it, as you can see here, very slowly. So now the water level is still not leveled. It's still flowing out pretty fairly. We have some rapids going down here. Uh, so let's now, let's now see what happens if I make it rain some more into the reservoir just to get some more water in. Here we go. And then that's what it looks like in the VR view. So you can see how I'm slowly adding more water and how it slowly flows out there. Now on a desktop monitor like this one, that doesn't look very impressive, but of course if you can do it on a desktop monitor, then because all of the software is based on the VR UI VUI toolkit, it's a VR toolkit, so we can do the same thing in a VR headset. Uh, I'm guessing if you put yourself at one-to-one -one scale down there, like we did in the beginning here, and see that wall of water rushing towards you, it's probably pretty impressive. Not to say pretty scary, so I'm going to try that as soon as I can get the chance to hook up uh, one of the headsets I have. All right, that looks pretty fun. So much fun, we are doing it one more time, but this time we are going to do it in slow-mo. I'm already in the right place, so I'm just going to set the water speed from 1 to 0 0.25, give or take. And then we'll do the same thing. All right, here we go, and damn failure, and there it goes. Well, okay, why is nothing happening? Oh, here we go. Yep, there it is, slow-mo, a wall of water. Nice. So here we have the VR view, so to speak, on the monitor. Oh, and we are underwater. And then here, of course, we have the AR view in the sandbox. All right. 